ITPC. Padre Piper coming to you via the virtual airwaves of YouTube. Saying hello, YouTube Pipe community. I hope you're seeing all the blessings in your life. I'm blessed right now. Enjoying over lunch today this, um, oh, this wonderful pipe. This is uh, an Eric Nording, and um, in it I have what I think might be an almost suitable replacement for McClellan's Red Cake. It is a Sutliff Red Virginia. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. I'm also using, this is for my good friend, and you know who you are, the improper pipe lighter. This is lift it. It's borrowed. I don't want to imply Padre Steels. It's borrowed from the Acolyte Closet here at the church. Mmm, this is tasty. I want to give you some uh, impressions on this tobacco today, but first, a couple of things on my mind that I just want to address. It's a little windy out here, so I apologize in advance if there's any wind coming through the microphone. A um, couple of things. I've noticed in the YTPC that folks have, uh, uh, more recently than not, kind of gotten into some of the socio-political issues of the day and um, I try to steer away from those and you guys know I've been guilty of doing it myself uh, hey you know look it's your channel you can put anything on it you want I, I try not to go there because inevitably I don't have all the answers and when I get into these kinds of political rants um, probably there are some folks who are going to agree with me and there are some folks who are going to disagree with me and at the end of the day this is a pipe channel, you know? So, but anyway, having said that, and notice the amount of political posts that have seemingly uh, increased in recent days, weeks, months, I do have a few opinions I want to share with you. And I'm just going to be quick about these. I invite your comments. Number one, this whole inspector general issue. Here's what I have to say about that. My opinion is that it's absolutely and that the political bias in the FBI that's being alleged so I don't know what your opinion is on all of that but that's mine second thing I wanted to talk about is immigration and DACA and separating children from their parents and there's you know both sides of this debate here's where i come down on it and so that is where i come down on that issue and number three and then i'll move on to the tobacco it's on the recent Supreme Court ruling that says that it's okay for states to begin forcing online retailers to collect sales tax for each state. My opinion on that, that just sucks. Let's go inside, we'll talk some more about this wonderful Red Virginia. Oh, well. Good to be inside. It's uh, it's hot. It's hot outside, and um, got some notes I got off the internet because I was not familiar with this particular tobacco, and I don't know if it's new. I don't know if this is something Sutliff just came out with to try and capitalize on the um, the void in the market for McClellan Red Cake, or if this has just been a sleeper that's out there for a while. Uh, but I have a feeling as people find out about this, it's going to it's going to be swiped up. So you probably, if you want to try some now, is a chance to to really get in on it before the market demands. Because I, I do think that this one's going to take off. I picked it up today at my uh, local B and M, and I walked in and I knew the little spot on the shelf <laughs> where 
McClellan's Red Cake used to be, and there was a full jar, and it said Red Cake. And I said, hey, what's this? And my local tobacconist said, hey, well, it's not what you think it is, but it's we've done some research, and we're trying to find a suitable replacement, and we think we may have gotten it. And I'll tell you, folks, this is close. This is close. This is called Sutliff 515 RC1. Now, presumably, the RC stands for, you do the math, red cake, right? And I want to read you uh, from uh, Pipes and Cigars, where I found this uh, available online. Uh, what they say, it says, regular red Virginias have a flavor that can, can best be described as toasty sweet. Yes, yes. Processing and maturing red Virginia can bring some surprising results. Yes, and that is where McClellan excelled. People used to buy McClellan 5100 Red Cake by the pound because of its zesty flavor. For those who miss that terrific flavor, you should try Sutliff Matured Red Virginia 515 RC-1. This isn't an exact match for 5100. It's not exact, folks. Man, it's good in its own right, and it is pretty daggone close, okay? Um, but it has a depth of flavor and a tang that you, would you wouldn't normally find in a regular Red Virginia, and it's priced very nice, and it is. I don't remember what I paid today at the local B&M. Uh, I think it's more than I would have paid online. Um, I think it was in the neighborhood of... 375 an ounce or something like that and uh, you're gonna find out in a moment I'm gonna give you the prices of some of the online places I just checked and it's cheaper of course you got you know shipping to pay for unless you're you know hitting the minimum for free shipping at, at various places and such um, it says if you're looking for a rich red Virginia then try Sutliff matured red Virginia 515 RC1 folks it is worth the try if you are a McClellan red cake lover because this is this is good stuff now what are the prices uh p and c's got it for uh two dollars and nine cents for up uh, up to the first three ounces and you get a price break the more you buy a really good price cup of joe's has it for uh 2.95 for up to the first three ounces and again there's price breaks beyond that mars sells it minimum you can buy from mars cigars is two ounces uh for 505 so quick math, that puts it at like 251, 250, uh, why, why are you making me do math, YTPC? It's a little over two and a half an ounce price breaks as you go along. And smoking pipes uh, begins at uh, 213 an ounce. So all better prices than uh, I got at the local B&M, but um, folks, support your local B&M. There's nothing wrong with purchasing online, but support your local BM uh, brick and mortar when you can as well, um, because you're going to miss them one day if, if they ain't there no more. I can promise you that. So how does it compare to the uh, Red Cake from McClellan? Okay, folks, this is really brand new to me. This is a very much a first impressions, okay? Here, here was the selling point in the store. I was not gonna, I wasn't even gonna take the chance. And then I opened the jar and I took a sniff. And the jar note, the ketchup smell was there. It's like, oh, oh, we have found the reincarnation or maybe the resurrection, if you're a Christian, of McClellan. I mean, it smelled spot on. It was awesome, it was awesome. Um, some of my other tasting notes on this. It's monodimensional, kind of like McClellan 5100. That was the beauty of that smoke. When you lit it, you're gonna get that nice, that just, that wonderful red cake flavor. And it was gonna stay with you the whole time. Wasn't gonna get harsh, this doesn't either. That flavor is with you the whole smoke. It's bite free. And I have been puffing this like a freight train. And folks, that's one of the things that has kept me away from Virginia's. I am really just starting to try and get into Virginia's this past spring and this summer uh, because I've, I've often found them uh, tough burning. They're hot burning. They'll, they'll, they'll bite you. 
and this doesn't. It just like McClellan's Red Cake. If you had no problems with that, I don't think you're gonna have any problems with bite on this, uh, this, this Sutliff version of uh, what they call, I'm assuming the RC1, that stands for Red Cake. Um, and here's the thing, it's got, so the flavor profile, it's got that zestiness, it's got that tanginess, there's that sweet Virginia that comes through, it's all mixed together again. It doesn't change much throughout the, the bowl. And that's wonderful because that flavor is great. And I suspect this is only going to get better with age. And so I think the true test, folks, is if you want to get a hold of some of this, is to go ahead and do that. Get you a couple of ounces for now, get you a couple of ounces and, and jar it away. Try it again a year, 18 months, 36 months from now. And my suspicion is this is only going to get better with time. Uh, it's just, I, I'm telling you, uh, this is good stuff. My friend, uh, Ghost Cobb, you got to get some of this, brother, and give it a shot because I know how much you like that McClellan Red Cake. And for all of you out there who are Red Cake fans, uh, try this out. Again, it's Sutliff. It's uh, a proper name is... Um, Sutliff Matured Red Virginia 515RC-1. Uh, the short name is Sutliff 515RC-1. And uh, this is good stuff. It really is. It's smoking like a charm in this, um, this Eric Norning. I did a video not too long ago um, where I was smoking some red cake out of my, um, my Rattray's Ogari pipe. I can't wait to try this in that pipe because that was really that pipe oh, just did red cake so well and i want to see if it does it if it does this particular blend as well also so uh that's that's my quick first impressions on this uh potential replacement for red cake by mcclellan is it an exact match no is it close it is it is close and in its own right, it's just a good Red Virginia. Uh, it's got all, I think, all the same qualities uh, that you found in that McClellan version of it. So folks, uh, I would highly recommend giving it a try. I think it's probably gonna take off pretty quickly and you're gonna start seeing uh, back orders on this online and such. So um, I'm assuming, again, that it's new. I could be wrong about that. The, one of the reasons I think it's probably new is I could not find it unless it was going by a different name. I could not find it on tobaccoreviews.com. So um, give it a try. Give it a try if you're a McClellan Red Cake fan. I think you're gonna be uh, pleasantly uh, pleased with this. I hope uh, as we're heading into the weekend, now you might be watching this on a, on a Tuesday or you know Wednesday or late, I don't know when you're watching it. And so maybe you're not having, heading into the weekend, but if you're watching it on the day I post it, um, I uh, hope you're heading into the weekend. The weekend brings you great blessings. If whatever day of the week it is when you're watching this, I'm hoping that you're uh, enjoying great blessings. Whatever you're smoking in your pipe, I hope it's bringing you great joy, relaxation, all the wonderful things that come from this little pipe smoking hobby of ours. And just a reminder, if you want to uh, keep up with me in some other venues, I invite you to do that. Uh, I'm on the Twitter now. I'm on the Instagram now. And Instagram apparently is getting ready to start or may have already started, uh, I'm not sure, I got a message about this, uh, Instagram TV, and I think they're trying to compete with uh, YouTube. So, YTPC, we may be having the next wave of, uh, of a community, a video community, in a different uh, social media platform. And um, I cannot imagine, because Instagram is now owned by Facebook, I can't imagine that they would be any kinder in the future to us than um, YouTube is because you saw my paranoid video a couple of videos ago about the potential for social media clamping down on us and deciding that, you know, uh, we shouldn't be talking about pipes and tobacco and those all those evil things on YouTube and that YouTube could shut all that down if they wanted to, but uh, who knows? Then we may have to just go to our own personal websites, which by the way, I've got now, and if you wanna check that out, PadrePiper.com. Uh, it's not much on it at the moment, but more to come. Uh, go give it a visit anyway, and uh, you can, you can from there you can get my links to uh, Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat. That's a little bit of a joke, but click on it anyway for good fun. Uh, but maybe Instagram TV uh, might be a new place. I, I plan on at least trying to shoot one video to put up there and, and see what happens with it. We'll see. 
I don't know. But anyway, uh, let me get moving and sign off and let you get back to work as I get back to work on this uh, Friday lunch hour. And uh, let me ask uh, the good Lord to pour out his blessings on you as you do whatever it is you're going to do today. I wish you God's peace, grace, and blessings. This is Padre Piper. Go out and make it a great one.